Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss another random board exam problem. This is problem number 9. So in this problem guys, we have the sides of a triangle ABC. Our AB we have here 15 centimeters, BC 18 centimeters, CA is equal to 24 centimeters. Determine the distance from the point of intersection of the angular bisectors to side AB. Okay, so this is part of um, engineering mathematics. Okay, so this is most probably kung mechanical engineering kayo. This is part of the 35% of your total grade on the board examination. So this topic is under trigonometry. Okay, kasi meron tayo ditong triangle and hinahanap natin yung distance from the point of intersection of the angular bisectors to side AB. Okay, so let's draw first the triangle. So, ito yung triangle natin. This is triangle ABC. Okay, lagay natin guys yung mga elements. Okay, ano yung mga lengths niya? Okay, so in triangle ABC, AB is 15 cm. So, this is A here. So, B and C. Okay, triangle ABC. So, AB is 15. Okay, 15 centimeters. So, BC is 18 centimeters and the longest side is 24 centimeters. That is CA. So, determine the distance from the point of intersection of the angular bisectors. Okay, angular bisectors divide an angle okay, into two equal parts. Okay, so if this is a B here, so meron tayong angular bisector dito. And then, yung angular bisector ng tatlong angles will intersect. Okay, meron siyang point of intersection. Okay, so it will intersect at a certain, okay, at a common point. So, the question is, what is the distance from the point of intersection, okay, of the angular bisectors to side AB? So, ito yung point of intersection. Ano daw yung distance itong point dito sa side? So, basically, this is the perpendicular distance from the point to the side. Okay, so, this is at 90 degrees angle. Okay, so, we are required to get this uh, length, which is, let's say, x. Ayan. What is x here? So, in order for us to get x, of course, we need, okay, kailangan natin ng trigonometry. Okay, hanapin natin yung angle dito. Okay, if this is angle B here, so this half, this is B over 2. Pasahin natin natin, so this is B over 2 also. Itong kabuuan niya, this is angle B. Okay, this is angle B. And since this is an angular bisectors, it will divide an angle into two equal parts. Okay, so this is A over 2 here. Yung kalahati. So, etong whole, this is A. And we have here, okay, ito din. Uh, C over 2. So, lagay lang natin, oh, but basically, we don't need this angle here. Kasi dito tayo magpo-focus. Kasi andito yung distance from the point of intersection of the angular bisectors to side AB. Okay, so in order for us to get x, kailangan nating hanapin itong angle B over 2 here and angle A over 2. Then apply tayo ng trigo. Okay, so here, how can we get this angle B over 2? So using our cosine law, okay, we can get this angle. Kasi sa cosine law, if you are given three sides of an oblique triangle, you can actually get any angle. So, in order for us to get x, we need to get this angle b over 2 and a over 2 here. So, we can use the method or the formula cosine law when finding this b over 2 and a over 2 here. So, recalling the concept of cosine law, that is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Okay, so kung ano yung side dito, so these are sides c, a, b of the triangle. 
And C here is the angle corresponding. Okay, yung opposite nitong side dito. Okay, so let's use that formula in order to find this angle here, uh, B. Okay, so here we can get angle B by using the cosine law. Okay, so what is the opposite side of B? That is 24, so we can use that. So 24 squared, okay, equals the sum of the squares of the two remaining sides you have here, 15 squared plus 18 squared minus 2 times, okay, minus 2 times, okay, the product of the two remaining sides you have here, 15 times 18, and cosine of the angle opposite to that 24, which is B, okay, cosine B. And for us to get angle A, same thing, gamitin natin si cosine law, ano yung opposite side ni A? So, that is 18. So, that is 18 squared. Okay, equals. So, the sum of the squares of the two remaining sides, you have here 15 squared plus we have here 24 squared minus 2 times 15 times 24 times cosine of that angle A, which is the opposite angle to 18. Okay, cosine A. So, we can get A and B now. Okay, let's just use algebra to extract okay, B here. So from that first equation, you have here 24 squared is equal to okay, 15 squared plus 18 squared minus 2 times 15 times 18 cosine B. Okay, so that is, so 2 times 15, so 24 squared. Again, okay, 24 squared. Lagay na natin dito. So, you have here 2 times, transpose natin si 2 times 15 times 18 cosine B to the left side. So, 2 times 15 times 18 cosine B equals, so 15 squared plus 18 squared and transpose natin si 24 squared sa right side. So, minus 24 squared. So, cosine B, you have here. So, 15 squared plus 18 squared minus 24 squared divided by etong coefficient ni cosine. So, that is 2 times 15 times 18. So, this is equal to, you have here, so negative 1 over 20. Okay, extract natin si B by using arc cosine. So, arc cosine. So, B equals arc cosine. You have here negative 1 over 20. So, using your calculator, so B is, so B here is, you have here 92.866 degrees. Okay, therefore, so therefore, if B is 92.866 degrees, so B over 2 here is, divide lang natin sa 2, that is 46.43. Okay, B over 2 is 46.43 degrees. Okay, eto i-raise natin. Lagay na natin yung angle. So, 46.43 degrees. Ayun. So, ano yung angle A natin? So, angle A, cosine law ulit, using this equation here. So, we have here 18 squared. Cosine law ulit, using this equation here, na na-formulate natin kanina. So, using this equation here, you can get a. So, this is cosine law again. So, we have here 18 squared equals, we have here 15 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 times 15 times 24 times cosine A. Uh, so, here 2 times 15 cosine A equals, so 15 squared plus 24 squared, so minus 18 squared, and we have plus 24 squared minus 18 squared divided by 2 times 15 times 24. Ayun, so here, uh, cosine A equals, so that is 0 0.6625, so 0 0.6625. So extract natin si A, we have here arc, Cosine. So, for your calculator, that is shift cosine. So, arc cosine. So, arc cosine 0.6625. So, 
So, A is 48.5 degrees. Ayan. So, therefore, here, so, since A is, okay, since A is 48.5 degrees, A over 2 is, divide lang natin sa 2, so, that is 24.25 degrees. So, this A over 2 here, okay, A over 2 here is, 25, I mean 24, 24.25 degrees. Okay, let's say that this length here is Y. Therefore, this length here is 15. Okay, this, this whole AB is 15. So, if this, this remaining part is 15 minus Y. And we have this other triangle here. So, let's just uh, redraw this uh, side here. So, using these two triangles here, we can get X. Okay, using the first triangle, ito yung first triangle natin. Ayan. So, 90 degrees, this is, ito yung X. And this angle here is, okay, that is 46.43 degrees. And this is 15 minus Y. And the other triangle, the other triangle is, yeah, so you have this Y. Ito yung Y nya. And this is right angle. This is 24.25 degrees. And this is X. Ayan. So you can get X by using these two triangles. So two triangles, two unknowns. We can get X. So using the first triangle, uh, gamitan natin ng tangent because Ang ating angle is here. Okay, so tangent yon. So tangent, tangent 46.43 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, ano yung opposite natin? What is opposite the angle? So opposite the angle is side x. So x over the adjacent side, which is 15. Minus y. And here, from this triangle here, so tangent 24.25 degrees is opposite over adjacent pa rin. So, ano yung opposite ng 24.25 degrees? That is x over adjacent which is y. So, we can use these two equations. Okay, itong dalawang equation na yan to solve for x. So, we have here tangent 46.43. And from this equation here, from that second triangle, so we can say that y is equal to x all over, okay, tangent 24.25 degrees. And this uh, value for y, we can substitute that here. And finally, we can actually compute for x. So, tangent 46.43 degrees is equal to x all over 15 minus y, which is tangent 24.25 degrees. So, multiply tayo nitong expression. 46.43 degrees is equal to, I mean that is times, multiply tayo ng 15 minus x or tangent 24.25 degrees to both sides of the equation para makancel to. So this is equal to x. Then distribute lang natin si tangent 46.43. So mamaya na tayo mag-calculator para accurate yung uh, answer natin. So 15 times Okay, 15 tangent, 46.43 degrees minus, you have here tangent, 46.43 degrees. Okay, divided by tangent, 24.25 degrees. 
Okay. So, dinistribute natin si tangent 46.43. And we have here that is equal to x. So, transpose natin ito sa other side. So, this becomes 15 times tangent 46.3 degrees is equal to x plus tangent 46.43 degrees divided by tangent 24.25 degrees x. And ito, since pagsamahin natin, so this becomes x times 1 degrees divided by 24.25 degrees. Okay, so pinactor out natin si x. So this is 15 times tangent 46.43 degrees. Okay, divide natin both side by this coefficient ng x para ma kuha natin si x. So, this becomes x is equal to yeah, tangent 6 plus. Okay, tangent 46.43 degrees divided by 24.25 degrees. Okay, so this is in centimeters because 15 here is in centimeters. So, we have here 2. So, x is equivalent to 4.73 centimeters. So, this is the final answer for this past board exam problem. That's it guys for today's video. I hope that you have learned from this video and uh, I will be uploading these types of problem guys from time to time. So that if you encounter this in the board examination, you already know the approach on solving these types of problem. So, if you are new to this channel guys, bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, just click the subscribe button, the notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this video. You can also visit me guys on Facebook that is facebook.com slash engineerprofph and follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok that is at ingenierorb. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you on my next video.